a perfect day for gliding. That's what these people think they're gonna do. Good morning, folks. And it's good to be out and about on a Thursday. It means one more day to the weekend, baby. And it's a long weekend this weekend, so looking forward to that. The lovely wife has made me a little takeaway coffee. I drink coffee because I like the taste. So I've got a busy day ahead of me. Uh, it's Thursday, Thursdays are my busies. And uh, leave it, just left the house at half seven. Uh, got three meetings there. And then uh, back home at six o'clock. So I was, I was saying, I just got a phone call, and there's this, there's this, be there's this beautiful cat running around here. Beautiful cat. Seems to have gone. Oh, there he is. Look. Yeah, so I have to get the car fueled. I only have about 15 miles left in the tank. That's n that's not going to get me home. Uh, so I have to shoot off to the Sainsbury's uh, petrol station, put some fuel in. So while I'm there at Sainsbury's, I'll have a look around and get some rice noodles, vermicelli, oh yeah. I have fuel! Lovely! Now time to get going. There we are, we just finished a quick nip of shopping, filled the car up. We're now ready to go to our next and final meeting of the day. And then it's home time. I'm not running this evening, I'm just gonna sit down and enjoy my meal of carbs. I'm gonna let my legs continue soaking up the run that I did yesterday. Uh, so all feeling pretty good. What the hell, bruh? Some guy just didn't even wait for me at a roundabout. How dare he? Me, me. Alton is such a weird place. I wouldn't like to live in Alton. Looks just a bit weird. Go on, matey boy. Well, go, go, go. So because my watermelon was for lunch, uh, I can't have it now because I've, I've run out of time because I had to fuel the car. I do have currants with me. I can have some of that. And in the car, I have my backup plan. Oranges, a whole bunch of oranges, six of them. No, that will be okay, I guess. I have also have some dates in my bag, and uh, I'll just nibble them as I work. What a beautiful afternoon! 19 and a half degrees. It, well, that's what the car is telling me, and uh, I'm on my way home. It is 20 to six. I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling good. It's all right. It's always good to be busy. Always good to be doing stuff. No. If, if, I can't watch a movie by myself. The reason being because I get near to the end of the movie, whether I, this is regardless whether I enjoyed it or not, I will get to the end of the movie and I will think to myself, I've just wasted two hours watching a video. When I was a kid, when I was a child, 
And when the Lion King came out, everybody knows the Lion King. We watched Lion King daily, like repeated, on repeat, daily. And we would get home, stick Lion King on, and we would just watch the Lion King. Eventually, it got to the point where I could recite word for word the script of the Lion King. And that, that was like, then it was like, good grief, this is actually really sad that you have the ability to do this. This has to stop. I just try to stay clear of watching a lot of movies all the time. Although I do have my favorites. So my top three all-time favorite movies that I, I would watch again and again, quite happily, uh, are, the, are as follows. Number three has to be, for me, The Fifth Element, all right? Bruce Willis, Mila Jovovich, Lee Evans, including Gary Oldman. And it's a story about uh, Bruce Willis as a taxi driver, nobody uh, gets landed with the a clone of an alien species that holds the key to saving the human race. And they have to combine the four elements, fire, earth, wind and water, and, and the fifth element being, I'm not going to tell you if you haven't seen it, go and watch it. The fifth element, they have to combine all these five elements and save the world from being from, from being destroyed. Really good cinematics for the time it was made. In fact, it is still really a good movie. I'll, I, I just it's The originality and the setting and the beauty of that movie is perfect. Number two of my all-time favorite movies has to be Galaxy Quest. I love, love watching Galaxy Quest. When I start that film and I hear the, the introduction, I was like, oh yes, I love it. Uh, Tim Allen, Gorney Weaver, a few other cast members. Basically, the movie is about uh, actors who play in a TV show called Galaxy Quest. And the transmission of the TV show actually enters into outer space where an alien race picks it up and interprets that as being historical documents. So this alien race is now in turmoil. They lost their home and planet and things like that. And they go and find uh, the team or the crew of Galaxy Quest. Recruit them or basically ask them for a favor like listen can you come help us we're being attacked. This, The crew um, or these actors just blag their way through trying to help this alien race but that's a good it's a good meme because it's such an encapsulating storyline when you start it you think what is this rubbish but then you actually get into it and the story is so awesome and I think that that is a movie that you guys have to watch and number one of my all-time favorite film it's a film that's made me cry more than once and it is tears of the sun if you have not seen tears of the sun do yourself a favor right it also stars Bruce Willis okay I'm a Bruce Willis fan he is my man crush in that movie he plays a US Marine or a US soldier and he has to go into Nigeria to extract a doctor who, who is by nationality a US citizen so they have to extract that and on that mission he gets challenged to save a village of people from being just killed off by uh, rebel forces. It brings down to reality that, hey, wait a minute, this stuff actually happens in Africa. There's such a contrasting civilization in Africa and it, it strikes home, you know, that so many people unnoticeably lose their lives. Nobody, like nobody in the West cares much about the people in Africa. It's Africa, what, what is there? But actually there are there's people that live there, there are lives that have been built there, there are families, there's civilizations that may be different but are worth keeping worth saving uh, 100 percent so but that just that movie is just so moving and i recommend that to anybody who wants to watch a really good flick tears of the sun go check it out anyway guys i'm home and i'm happy to be home i'm going to see my kids uh, put them to sleep and scoff a whole lot of carbs I'll catch you guys later. I hope you have a really good evening. Watch a movie. Don't watch it often. Do something with an extra two hours that you can actually gain from not watching a film.
You gotta move to the right. Move more to the right. Would you sit, sit your parallel. ass down? Sit! Move! You wanna drive this to- 